Yes, tonight, well, today, I knew it was going to be a tough ball game. When we played them at our place, we lost by five. When we played at their place less than a week ago, we ended up going in overtime. So we knew that we were capable of beating them. But at the same time, we knew the issues we had. But I thought we did a great job on uh, number five. Uh, I'm thinking that's the Watson girl. Ross. Ross. Ross, I'm sorry. Um, she gave us fits when we played her. And I thought we did a good job of um, – controlling her, and then number four, you can't do anything with her as well as she plays uh, defense. And she really, really did a number on us at the end of the game. I thought we was doing a pretty good job of handling the pressure or what have you. But uh, the last 90 seconds of the ball game seemed like it was an, an uh, eternity. Mm -hmm. Questions? Okay. Uh, Coach, uh, Charles Bishop, uh, inside the HBCU Sports Lab uh, here in Houston. Uh, talk a little bit about the play of Danielle Eward. Uh, 22 points tonight, seven rebounds, five assists, total game, 35 minutes. Yes, Eward, she does a little everything. She did an excellent job of scoring the ball uh, today, inside out, and then on the defensive end, she takes charges or whatever. I think she had uh, two or three uh, charges, and she's just tough. And everybody needs to know she's a former soccer player, so she throws her body around. Uh, she doesn't hesitate, and uh, she was being a leader out on the floor, something that I'm trying to get her to do. And she's only a sophomore, so they're looking at me like, what are you talking about? I'm in survival mode. And that's the reason why I thought we needed to bring all three of the young ladies, because Jasmine People, she had a double-double. That's what she's been doing all year, and that's the reason why she was the defensive player of the year. So I couldn't leave any of them out. She got her average, and this is the long Ranger. She did an excellent job and I thought she was the difference in the ball game. Um, it was mentioned that this will be your first time in uh, the SWAC championship game since 2004. Uh, any butterflies going forward? No, because these young ladies have worked hard throughout the year and the thing about it, we only, Jasmine people I thought we turned the corner some on last year. These girls were no, not a part of the time that we struggled, what have you. They came here winners or what have you. And I told them we was right there to turn over to the, the winning side and get a, our winning tradition back. So we right there. And I told them, you need to do it now. You ladies are junior. And what I did, I made reference uh, to the volleyball team. My volleyball team, those girls was young when they won it. I said, you don't want to wait till your senior year. And then I remember one day I was talking to Jasmine. She said, I want to do it now. And you can tell them the rest what you said. I, just, I didn't want to play it all on my senior year. I wanted to get it now. So when you, you know, when, once you win, it's so much easier the next time because you know you can do it. Do we have any more questions for Alabama State? Thank you. Appreciate it. I want to mention something. I have to. Uh, I have to mention this. Okay, I got 3.5 and above next to me. These girls are not just doing it on the floor. They also doing it in the classroom. And you talking about biology majors or what have you. She has finished in two years. She, ha she has two degrees and now she's working on her master's. I'm talking about Jasmine People. And she has another year. Okay, we stress academics. So I just had to mention that. Thank you. <laughs> yes, biology. 